to make a website, the first thing you actually need is a host. And that is where you will host, keep your site on the internet so that people can access it. Of course, hosts cost money. There's no such thing as a free host. But what if you just wanted to practice with Brizzy and, you know, get familiar with it without going buying a host and then spending that money? Because it can be a lot of money just to practice. And that is one of the great things that you can do with WordPress. There are solutions for what we call local hosts, quite a number of them. And in this video, I'm going to show you a very good solution that you can use for practicing at home. You don't have to pay for a host. You don't have to pay all those other extras. You can just install it on your computer and it will automatically install WordPress for you. Yep, you don't even have to do that. Let me show you. You go to this website called Local by Flywheel. Flywheel is a host, a local by flywheel.com. And then you can just click on the free download. And you may think, oh, now what is it going to cost me later on? Look at the pricing for this and you'll understand why this will put a smile on your face if you were only going to make sites for practice. It's free, baby. It's free. Unless you need things like staging deployment and magic sync and you don't even care about those things when you are just beginning with WordPress. This is for people who's been for a while in the game. And then you have a pro version over here for freelancers. And this one is for teams. But if you just want to practice at home, make as many local sites in WordPress as you can think of, then you go for this one, the free version. Download it, run it on your Mac, run it on your PC. And it's as easy as any other app software that you can install. What I'll do, and you see down here, this is the little icon for it. I will activate it. This will start running my local machine. It will begin starting up the local machine. And this may take some time. And once that is ready, we're going to show you how you can run a host on your computer, install WordPress, and then also even Brizzy, and how you can play around then with your sites directly on your computer. As you can see, I've got quite a number of sites here. This is actually just a few. I used to use another one called Desktop Server. But I've switched recently to this local by flywheel. I think a much better user interface, very friendly, especially for people who just want to click and go. No need to do any extra fancy mumbo jumbo. Right. So if this opens, you will have nothing here. It will be empty. And it's as simple as this. You go to the big plus here at the bottom and it says add local site and you click on that. And then you give your site a name. So for this one, I'm going to call it Brizzy for dummies. And then I click on continue. You can set it up customly if you want to. But again, if you are totally new at this preferred, that is the way to go. Now it will register an account for you. So that's where you're going to add an account here. So I will say maybe uh, W4B for websites for beginners, and then I will give it a password. Now I don't remember if I'm in caps. No, I'm not. Okay, so I'm going to give it the same. And you can click here on the eye if you want to see what is your password. Don't worry, this is on your computer. No one is going to even try and find it. And then over here, you can just add a email address. And there you go. So this will be your account login details. And you have to remember that. Let me make sure I remember it, even though it's so small. And then I click on add site. It's going to ask me access. I'm going to say yes. And it's going to do it so quickly. You see here, adding WordPress, it's busy installing it for you. This will take about 30 to 45 seconds. Uh, but by the power of editing, we have removed that. And here is your site set up already. You don't have to care about any of these things. This is WordPress in a box ready to go. To go into your site, you click here on admin and it will open your browser. And then over here, you will type in now your username and then your password and you log in and you're in WordPress. Vanilla install, you can save the details. If you are like me, you keep forgetting those things. And then from here, you can go and load a theme and you can go and load Brizzy. We already know how to do that. Go to plugins, click on add new. And then up here, we search for Brizzy. Brizzy. And then install now, 50,000 plus active installations. Woohoo! Right, installing, activate. 
And of course, you're going to install a theme of your choice. We will not cover that in this video. So what happens when you're done? You're done with this site and you close your browser and your local by flywheel app is still running. One of the few things you can do if you've got many sites and you're done with this one, you can stop the site. So the engine will stop running. You just click here on stop site. If you've got multiple websites running at the same time, you will have the option to stop all of them. And if you're done, you just click again here and it will ask you if you're sure you want to quit the local. And I will say yes. Now you have created that WordPress site on your local host, on your own computer. A few days later, you come back, you want to access it again. Let's see how you go about that. You again, open the app. And once the machine has started up, you can go here through your sites up here, Brizzy for Dummies. And what I also like about this interface is that the sites are sorted in alphabetical order. I prefer that. So this is the one that we had created. Click on it. And now to begin working with it, you first need to start it up here. Click on Start Site. And it will take a little moment and you will see over here, these two things, PHP version and MySQL version, when they appear here, then you're more or less ready to go. Again, you can just click on Admin. If you click on View Site, it will just take you to the site. So it's going to give me that uh, very bad looking WordPress front. Nothing special. To get in there, you just can click on the admin and it will automatically give you that admin address. And again, you can just type in there and as smooth as, a, you know, there we go. And you're in again. Very, very nice. So remember this, localbyflywheel.com. Download the free version and then you can play at home as much and make as many websites as you please.